Hello, my name is Tom Pope, and for my project for linear algebra, I have created a program which calculates the determinant of a matrix. I have divided this process into three methods. A main, which collects data and constructs a two-dimensional array, also known, well, in our case will be used as a matrix. A method that displays the matrix for ease of use, and a method that finds the determinant of said matrix. Now, our main method simply creates a method, a two-dimensional array, for any specified input. So we say that this program creates an n by n matrix, enter n. It will construct an, a matrix, or in this case, two-dimensional array, with that size. It will then ask uh, to fill that matrix with the correct data, and we'll show you what the current matrix looks like on each step. Once it is done, the method will pass the matrix to the determinant method for evaluation. Now, if the n by n matrix, if n is 1 or 2, it will simply calculate the determinant right to then. The determinant of 1 by 1 matrix is just that element, and a 2 by 2 is, of course, the formula. A, D, minus C, B of a matrix A, B, C, D. If a matrix is not of that size, so if it is 3 or larger, it will have to create 2 by 2 matrices that it can compute. And the way it does that is recursive. So, the way we start is we make a new matrix, also known as just a two-dimensional array in our case. And it will first say, like, when we make a, when we start calculating the determinants of a three, a three by three matrix, first we take the first point, the first element of said matrix, we cross out that row and that column, and we calculate the determinants of the smaller matrix that is remaining. That is what this part does. What this does is it divides the matrix. So to do that, we have a skip column, and it will just not take anything from that skip column, and we have a skip row, which will be on the top, which will say don't take anything from that row. So as, as long as we move that skip column and skip row around, we can divide the matrix, and we'll, we will re, re, uh, we'll take whatever is left and make a new matrix out of it. So that new matrix is then passed to it, it's self. So this is recursion. So that way, we're while we're calculating the matrix of a 3x3, three three, we'll be calculating three 2x2 two two matrix, matrices, finding those determinants, and then, of course, multiplying them together. Uh, of course, along the way, we are going to be using our formula, which is D equals the, of course, for this, for all elements, um, 1 to the power of the column that is being skipped, so in other words, the dimensions of said, uh, plus 1. Uh, that is calculated by seeing whether or not the skip column mod 2 is, which means is it positive or is it uh, even or odd. If it is even, it's 1. If it's odd, it's negative 1. This makes the process a lot easier and more clean looking. We will multiply that by the column head that is being used, and we will calculate the determinants of the rest of the, or the array. This will be done three times for a 3 by 3 array, and it will return D. D is our determinant. To demonstrate this, I have set up an example. I will be calculating the determinants of 3, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, 9, 7, 6 and hopefully we will get negative 21. So, stepping through, the console is here at the bottom. This program creates an n by n matrix, enter n. Of course, it is a three by three matrix, I will enter three. Now I'll enter each, all nine different elements of the array, starting on the top left point, and then going right. I will enter one, so one, one dash one, which is three, two, 3, 4, 5, 
four, nine, seven, six. And the determinant has been calculated to be negative 21. To show that I have not hard coded this, I will calculate a different determinant. I will just do two, zero, 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 two, zero, 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 two. And of course, that will be two to the power of three, also known as eight. I will recreate this in our program. And is once again three, two, zero, 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 two, zero, 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 two. And of course, the determinant is eight. This works for all dimensions. And it does it pretty fast because it is doing a very easy recursive method of computation. And that is all. Thank you for listening.